Hello everyone! In this tutorial I will show you how to create a stub brush in GIMP 2.8. Let's have a look first what it's going to look like. So as you see this is the brush we're going to create. Ok, let's get started now. As usual we will start from creating a new file. Go to File, New and create image 500 by 500 pixels and press OK but I'm cancelling because I've got it already. Next create a new transparent layer. Take brush tool and go to tool options then click on the brush. It will open a new little window then click on that small brush in the bottom right corner. A new tab will be opened, then there you need to click on the second icon on the left. It will open the brush editor. Give a name to your brush. I'm going to call mine Star 1. For the shape select diamond shape. Set radius to 60, spikes to 5, hardness should be 100%, which is to the maximum. Just move the slider to the right, to the very end. Set aspect ratio to 2.9 and angle to 90. This is it. We are done here, so let's move to the next point. Click on Tool Options, your brush should be already there, and set size to 500. Make sure your foreground is set to black, then take this brush and click somewhere in the middle of the image. Next, right click on the layer with star, Alpha to selection. Delete this layer now, we don't need this anymore. Create a new transparent layer. Go to Paths tab and click on the third icon on the right. It will create a path from our selection. Select Select None. Now click on the icon with red rectangular and it will create selection from the path we created before. Take bucket tool and fill your selection with black. Select, select none. You probably wonder why we do always. It's because when you create brush using paths, it will help to reduce the jacked edges and it small size your brush will look much smoother and much better. Now we are going to reduce our star. Take scale tool, click on the image and then set 50 for the width and 50 for the height. Sorry you can't see my window. And then press OK. Now you can leave your star as it is or you can move it to the middle just like I do. Take a line tool, click on the star, then in tool options. Your relative tool should be set to image, then click on the second icon in the top row. Now the star is the right in the middle of the image. Now I'm going to close a few tabs because I don't need them anymore and they just won't allow me to see all the layers I'm going to create later on. Like this, now we can carry on. Duplicate the layer with star. Take move tool and click on the star to activate it. Using the arrows on your keyboard, move the star down. Right click on the top layer, merge down. Now both stars are on the same layer. Duplicate this layer, take Move Tool, 
click on the stars to activate it and move them down. Using the arrow on the keyboard helps to keep the stars on the same line. Duplicate the top layer with stars and move them down like we did before. Don't forget every time to click on the stars to activate the move tool. Now we are going to repeat the process once again. So duplicate the top layer and move it down. And once more. You can create with brush as long or as short as you want, so it all depends on you. And last time duplicating the top layer and moving it down. Now I'm going to flatten the image. I'm going to image flatten image. Next set your image to grayscale, go to image mode grayscale. My image is set to grayscale because I've used it previously. Now we need to cut the image. Go to image, auto crop image. Now I'm going to save the brush. There is a quick way to do it in GIMP 2.8. Go to edit, copy, edit, paste as new brush. Here you need to give the name to your brush and your brush will be saved in the folder with brushes in GIMP automatically. If you are using older versions of GIMP than GIMP 2.8 then you need to do next. Go to file and if I remember well it was save as not export as it is in GIMP 2.8. Then find folder with brushes. Give name to your brush. Then select file type by extension. And find the GIMP brush GBR extension. And press save. Now you can close the window with brush. Create a new file. I'm using here the same dimensions as before. Take brush tool and go to tool options. If you are using GIMP 2.8 your brush should be already there, but if not you need to go and refresh your brushes and then you can use it. Now I'm going to show you what kind of things you can make with this little star brush. First I need to increase the spacing for the brush, so I'm opening the brush tab and setting the spacing to larger number. And there we go, we can begin painting our stars on the image. Oops, I forgot to switch back to RGB mode. If I don't do that we won't see any colors in my image. Now I'm going to reduce the size of the brush and then I'm going to show you how you can paint with your brush using colors from gradient. In dynamics choose paint from gradient option, set fade option to a high number and then choose a gradient you want to use. Maybe I should choose different gradient here. Let's select this rainbow gradient. Mm. Now you can see what this makes actually to the painting. Our stars became colorful. One more time, a little wave and this is all I wanted to show you. Thanks for watching and please leave a comment if you enjoyed this tutorial.